Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from Sort of Interesting Trains and today you're joining me as we take a closer look at two excellent little additions to my humble model railway layout. The first being these two rolls of Gage Master Grey Ballasted Underlay, which is a very simple foam roll that's got actual little tiny stones glued all over it, which certainly leads to all sorts of stones getting all over your layout when you're laying, uh, when you're first actually putting this stuff down, as you'll see all around it scattered through the course of this video, these stones get absolutely everywhere. But I've got to say, I absolutely love the effect. I think it adds so much to the layout. And in just a second as well, we'll take a closer look at the second thing in this video, which is basically the Javis Countryside Scenics, or Scenic Materials, sorry, couldn't get their name right then. Um, but basically these grass mats that you're seeing on the base of the layout here. So yeah, as I say, this ballast stuff, I absolutely love. Now, admittedly, it's not too cheap as one five metre roll at the moment, at the time of recording this video on Amazon, is going for £21.36. So even on my humble little seven by four foot layout, that means that I had to buy two uh, rolls of the stuff and spend over 40 quid just on the ballast alone. And that's, as I say, on a very small layout. Here you can see, as I say, the Javis Scenic Materials. This is the static hairy grass mats. I went for the autumn mixture because I felt that the summer and the spring ones were a little bit too vibrant, a little bit too bright, and I felt that this was overall the far more sort of realistic grass colour, at least in my eyes. Obviously, that's a personal preference thing. Now, it's very difficult to get the... A colour to show up correctly on the camera so you're going to see it looking all sorts of different shades of green in different light conditions throughout this video but as I've said in a previous video I personally feel that just adding these grass mats and the foam ballast has absolutely transformed my layout even from when I had the track uh, set up on top of the basic Hornby track mat I then started to set up my own custom layout and had it just on the plain uh, chipboard beneath all of this stuff. And honestly, I can't tell you how much it just blew my mind, how much better and how awesome this seemed as soon as I put the ballast down. Now here, you are seeing it when I was first trying to find my feet in the model railway world. So it's all nailed down at this point, which is why some of the ballast appears to be squashed or wide or what have you. Again, just a little shot there of my early stages of testing out using lichens and stuff on the layout. And as you can see from that one little cliff, I personally feel, at least in my opinion, that having the grass mat, the ballast and then a few bits of lichen, as I said again in the previous video, seems to just make the layout look so much better with such minimal effort. It may not be the cheapest way around it in the world, may not be the most realistic thing. This is my layout as it looks now. Um, again, at this point, the track is glued to the ballast, which gives it a far more even, far more steady look. Um, rather than, as I say, when it was nailed down and some of the ballast was crushed under the nails and all of that stuff. But ultimately, as a very simple, very, very easy way, really, to get your layout looking pretty nice, as I say. I mean, this is only me saying it from my very humble opinion. And you can see here, I've got one or two nails just holding the track in place maybe every quarter of the track just to stop any disasters happening before I glue it all down in place properly. But you can see there's still in the background little holes and that that I need to put fill with a bit of lichen and things. But yeah, I've got to say, I absolutely really thoroughly enjoy having this ballast. And you can see on this part I'm showing to the camera now. Uh, if you just take only a moment or two to think about how you're gluing the ballast, then you can have it so smoothly attached to the track and so flawlessly sort of just slightly rising up between the sleepers so that if you put the camera down really low you'd be able to see that the track almost seems to disappear and it looks like that effect when I've been on these old abandoned railways where the stones are rising up and again it's something as I say that I'm really pleased that I chose to get. There was a few different options with cork and different things out there but again 
for my level of modelling and my experience, I'm not going to start trying to go, oh, right, I'm going to make perfectly handcrafted ballast and all that sort of stuff. So this, to me, was a nice, easy option and a result that is much better than what I was expecting or hoping for. And again, with the Javis grass mats underneath, I'm really, really pleased with how it looks. On that note, I will say thank you so much for tuning in. Please do check out my other videos and subscribe as I have got an awful lot more Model Railway talk already uploaded and still to come. Until the next time, check the links in the description and you'll find links to this ballast and all sorts on Amazon and my short books about living on a canal boat. But until the next time, my friends, keep it interesting, keep it train-worthy, and of course, have a fantastic day and farewell.